Quickster with the uncanny ability to run really quick. Want to see me run to that mountain and back? You want to see me do it again? Elite Smash! Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash, and I am very eager to start this next Road to Elite Smash, especially with the amount of characters that we keep getting in this Road to Elite Smash. You know, last month we had a lot of interesting characters, such as Steve and Olimar, who were very interesting characters to play on two different sides of the spectrum. But for this one, we're going back to a little bit more on the broken spectrum, where this character is very infamous for breaking the game and being very, very good. Um, I am talking about of Sonic, of course. Uh, Sonic has been very controversial since his debut generation of Brawl. Everyone wanted him, and now that he's an ultimate and how fast he is, no one really wants him. That blue ring one is really cool, but of course, I always go for the black skin. And it looks like our battery controller is really low, so let's gotta go fast and see if we can do this. Well, this is going to be one fast match, if you know a lot of specifics, of course. Now, you know, Falcon being our Falcon freebie is obviously a very nice thing to have, so let's go for that back here. Oh, okay, looks like that jab doing some interesting work right there. So yeah, fun fact, of course, Sonic being a very fast hedgehog is the fastest character in the game with the highest speed stat. But the second fastest speed stat in the game is Captain Falcon with that jab block that we got. And then another Ford Air pushing him out of the way as Falcon is not able to recover. And is that a disconnect? No. Nope. Oh, no, it isn't. Okay. I don't know. It was a huge slowdown, so I thought that was going to be a disconnect just off the first stock. And yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it was. You know, people do not like playing against Sonic at all. And I am one of those people who I'm almost getting the simultaneous kill on both the down smash and falcon punch. But Dazzo was actually able to live our down smash. Down smash is actually really fast, and I'll talk about it more later, especially at ledge. All right. In case you haven't noticed, you've fallen right into my trap. Nice parry, getting the down air, parrying his down air, and then attacking with that up smash. A pretty decent multi hit. Not the best of his smash attacks, but still a really good one nonetheless. Found him with that down. There comes a giant. How about new? Down smash. Ooh. So yeah, his F smash really, really long, and you can angle it up and down, but we just didn't angle it up in time as the knee hit us in the face first. Another good forward air. Alright, looks like he grabbed onto us first. And his air dodge also really good. Good down throw, and he's gonna roll into that F smash so we can go deep and get the forward air, and he's just dead. He already knows it. He went for that SD just because he knew that Sonic was just gonna go right into him, and Sonic said it best. All right, Incineroar up next. We haven't faced an Incineroar in a long time, but obviously, when you put Sonic against an Incineroar, Sonic is going to do a good amount of job as well. And of course, that neutral be really good, actually. His homing attack, you can home into the nearest character, in that case, only being an Incineroar, and it can do some pretty good damage. It doesn't require him to approach as much, you just press a single button. Of course, Incineroar with that out of so move. You are dead! Okay. Nope. So, neutral B. Unfortunately dying. I believe that was revenge boosted cross chop, so we unfortunately died. Trying to angle it up the F smash, but alright, good back throw. Let's go for a back here. Uh, not exactly this time though. Alright. Good down smash. That should put him in ring. Long live the king. Of another down smash with the linear side B recovery. So let's go for that holy tech. You can home it and uh, hold it out for a while. All right, nice up tilt. Combos out of Nair pretty well. You can also do uh, up throw, up air. Not really go for that as much. Another good down smash. Let's go for a back air this time. There we go. That back air is really good. Combos out of neutral B, back throw. A lot of different things. It's a good back throw. All right, good down throw. All right, nice forward air. And oh, I was gonna go for another forward air to finish him off, but he got for the side B. And as you can see that Air Dodge almost made it back, and it doesn't even matter because we won by two stocks, and he's headed best again. Man, Sonic really is speedrunning a lot of these matches, and our final opponent is going to be Sephiroth. And yeah, hasn't really experienced that much conflict. We had, were brought to one stock by the Falcon because of the knee, and we got two stocks against the Incineroar, so let's see how much of a fight this Sephiroth puts against us with a nice back air. Unfortunately, we can see in the second one as he gets back with the Yaku Slash. Alright, and we get some into the wing with a forward throw, another forward air. Actually puts him out of range, he doesn't use that second jump. 
All right, now we just gotta wait him out. Ooh, unfortunately, it went for the ground. It is affected by inertia, and the Smash Ball is out in this rule set. I did not check for that, but it would be a good idea to show off his final Smash, see if we can get it. All right, it would be up there that will. So let's go ahead and attack him. There we go. Let's go all the way up, and he already knows what it is. It's, there we go! Supersonic! That's just how it's done. We're already at a two-stock lead right now. Only 79% so far. Avoiding the Aqua Slash. Nice F smash. Alright. Yeah, I gotta be careful because he can catch us with dash attack. Because we are- Are you f***ing kidding me?! by M Mike. Ooh, yeah, and that down here, really good for catching uh, Sonic's linear recovery with the spring. Even though it is really good. Good back here. Alright, let's see, going a little bit closer. Nice. Good dash attack. Actually really lingers. And another good forward air, and I believe he is dead. Oh, never mind. The wing is going to allow him to recover. Alright, going to be careful with the down air, though. And there we go! The only kill screen of this match was Sonic's back air. But hey, at least we took an honest skill instead of just timing him out like most Sonic's do. He said it again. Well, you can't blame Sonic for his confidence. It almost was too easy, as the fact of the matter is, uh, Sonic is a very good character, one of the best characters in the game, to be honest. And Sonic is very infamous because of his speed and his ability to move around the, the stage really, really efficiently, that he can time people out and is notorious for doing that on multiple occasions. However, I know that Sonic, instead of using his speed to run away, I decided to use his speed to run at people, as you saw with the jab lock and Captain Falcon, and me just being overly aggressive, and the fact of the matter is, that's not exactly how he's supposed to play, he's really just playing it from a distance and using, using his speed to run away, and in very few cases to run at them. Overall, I think Sonic was alright in terms of playing him. The characters that we got were a little bit easy. We were able to edge guard them a lot well, but, you know, we could have easily just dropped a bunch of springs because of the spring hitbox. But, uh, no, I wanted to show you a lot of Sonic's other moves and show his combo potential and how good of a character Sonic can be when he's not running away from other people. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and run over and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out and make it a great day, everyone.